Hello, in episode 8, like in any other episode, a little bit of damage progression, high level maps, and I want to talk about what I'm gonna do next. So let's get into it. I'm gonna start with Triple Authority Beltcraft. I picked up on my first belt Caster Authority, then for Enhance Potion Effect on the Suffix. Rolled it pretty quick, was no problems, cause I only need that one specific roll. So the first one is really easy. On my second one, I went for Hamal. Did that, went to transfer. This time I selected a fixed suffix transfer. So I would transfer enhanced potion effects 100%, so I wouldn't need to do it again. Transfer that one, and right now, starts the suffix craft. I went it the cheaper way. I didn't use serpents for this, I just was hoping for my luck, and I was lucky. I managed to remove the suffix that was not my enhanced from other authority and I roll enhanced potion effect. For my third base I went for Vespa because I need both suffix and prefix for this one, again transfer. This time I picked up uh, prefix transfer because when you do fixed prefix only one prefix transfers and all of the suffixes. So I knew this is gonna be 100% correct transfer. And now I started doing suffix, uh, started doing my third suffix with Serpent's Essence. So what I do, I transfer my suffix into prefix, I remove the prefix, and then I imbue my suffix. Uh, this was supposed to be enhanced potion effect, but I was kinda saving on my serpents, and I settled down for enhanced potion duration which can be recrafted into enhanced potion effect. I didn't want to spend too many, it was not a big of a deal for me, so I did it the cheaper way, basically. Uh, I still used quite a bit of serpents, it was around 20, I think. But I was successful, yeah, this is where I rolled it, and what I did after, I wanted to Vespa my suffixes, so I removed all of my prefixes, so I would have a higher chance to imbue the enhanced potion effects and the duration to as high T as possible. I'm removing the prefix right now, I use my Vespa on only suffixes. I didn't went too crazy, I only used two of those, rolled pretty decently. And then I just started working for my prefix, which I need resource cost and I need HP multipliers. Again, I wanted two HP multis, I only got one, I got resource cost dampening, HP multiplier and a hit rate, and they settled down for it. I was thinking about crafting a really good one, but I kinda gave up. So this is what I end up. I rerolled my enhanced potion duration into effect. It took me around 20k mats by the way, this is the successful roll only. Here it is, it's even low tier. After that, I managed to get another maximization chance uh, charm. It was a Mercedes Justice. It was not too crazy good, status effect damage on third affix is not too great, but hey. I was lucky, got maximization chance. It was a little bit of damage upgrade. It was low roll, I rolled into 3.7. After that, started crafting my double authority ring, started with speaker authority for the totem duration, which can be recrafted into skill rune effect. I was looking for totem duration on the prefix, attack speed, and uh, some damage multiplier. In this case, many damage multipliers would have worked for me, but I managed to get totem duration, elemental damage multi, and attack speed and it was the best I could hope for. After that, I did my 7 ring with uh, caster authority for power overpower on the suffix, used uh, suffix fixed transfer, so my all prefixes would transfer and only one suffix, this way I know it's always gonna work out. I managed to, I got my prefix the way it's supposed to be, and then I started crafting on my suffix. It didn't take me too long, I got lucky this time, but was not lucky with my legendary essence. I only managed to get cast speed. But yeah, this is how it looked like with all the crafts. Attack critical rate could have rolled a little bit higher. I did use some Vespas, not too many, a few. And I got cast speed on my leggy, I had to reverse, I couldn't keep my cast speed, it would have been a bad idea in general. So I went for the reversion. And on the second one, I got attack speed. And attack speed means a lot to me, because I was still running some attack speed zodiacs. With this craft, I basically can remove my attack speed zodiacs and just pick up more damage amplification. 
even if, if even if it doesn't look good on the first sight, it's actually really decent. I went for a call damage flat on my implicit uh, authority, and then skill rune effect craft from the totem duration. Of course, I tested my damage, but I have to say this right now. Last time I tested my damage without the potions, and I tested my damage without the weekend totem. So right now my damage is gonna be quite a bit higher, but I was actually really close to this damage in, in episode 7. So just keep that in mind. What I did in here basically, I pot up, I got my damage and potions, and I got my weekend totem. My weekend totem could have been much higher level, it's only level 30, so the damage increase from the totem is not too crazy, but it's still good. So if I was 12 bill last time, I think right now I'm around 24 bill. And that being said, I've been doing my 165 maps for a, for a two days right now. And what happened is that I did not manage to drop any one-hander axe that I could craft on. So this is basically my damage. Yeah, 24 bill or so. I kept running 165 maps and I kept dropping quite a bit of bases that I could craft on. I dropped some helmets, I dropped some shoulders, but I just can't drop the weapon. And because of that, I think that's where I'm gonna stop my series. I was running 165 maps in like 7 minutes, which is really slow. And I did like 50, more than 50 maps of these and not a single axe drop. I kind of gave up a little bit. And if this, if I was kept going, I think I would have, I would need to do like another 50 maps to actually drop that axe and to craft my TF-85 weapon. But for now, I think that's where I'm gonna stop. That's where I'm gonna stop and most likely episode 9, if it's gonna be, it's gonna be at the end of the season. Cause right now, I'm gonna go play some other games and, and the Simba season is kinda... A lot of players are leaving the game right now because they are done with the season, they're kind of not finding the season that much interesting. And I feel the same. There are Frost Strike builds and only Frost Strike builds right now in the, in the season leaderboards are kind of a little bit weird. But yeah, don't get discouraged, I just want to play some World of Warcraft, the War Within expansion. I was always World of Warcraft fan. So yeah, I'm gonna keep pumping that and most likely my next upload is going to be a few guides for in December and then World of Warcraft content. But yeah, thanks for watching. That's where I'm stopping right now. And maybe see you in the next episode 9 or just on some type of another content. GG's, bye-bye, have fun, and see you next time.